I I'm born in 71. What are okay. you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. I think we we are the original roasters. Oh. Our roast was well rehearsed. But who were your seniors? Let's call it out. No, like I'm a Tandon. Apur Gupta is my senior. Abhijit Kangli is my senior. Tanmay Bhatt is my senior. Veer Das is my senior. Papa C J is my senior. So I was so villa. Started doing going to uh, these. Uh, Open mics for six uh, events, and I couldn't utter a word. It was the Sarkari Nokri only which gave me freedom to do things because there is no target in government. Shatrughan Sinha was our minister. He used to sign Shatrughan Sinha, and he used to make a smiley after that. Not everybody is an engineering material. It proves that so many engineers are now stand-up comedians. What should we write? नाम बताओ अपना नाम बताओ तो सिटिंग राइट देन इन देयर आई सेड न्यू दिल्ली कॉमेडी क्लब हेल्थ वाज लाइक रूइंड मच मच बिफोर आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी सेड के ओके आई एम गोइंग टू डाई इफ इफ आई कीप वर्किंग लाइक दैट हेलो एवरीवन जस्ट किरन हियर विद जस्ट टॉकिंग एंड विद अस टुडे इज writer humorist stand up comedian someone who expresses himself through poetry theater music and other artistic expressions mahip singh welcome sir uh, founder of delhi laugh club also new delhi new, new delhi, delhi laugh comedy club. club new delhi comedy club we are going to correct that and uh, we are very uh, happy and elated to have you on our show thank you so much to ada bahut swagat hai and to see chandigarh aaye ho apne show le ek ha ji so um, mahip ji pehla hai daso ke uh, ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ 1.5 ਮਹੀਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਅ ਸੂਟਕੇਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਵੈਰੀ ਟਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਬਟ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਸਟੇਜ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਥਿਸ ਗਿਫਟ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਹੰਡਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਾਫ ਥਾਊਜ਼ੈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਾਫ ਐਟ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਾਈਕੋਲੋਜੀਕਲ ਔਰ ਸਾਈਕੋਸੋਮੈਟਿਕ but uh, you forget about your tiredness and you forget about the hardships you are going through to perform mm-hmm. so that's very rewarding i think and chandigarh you come a lot of times there's a khas connection with chandigarh mm, because it's near okay so <laughs> <laughs> the proximity helps yeah but tell me to see pehla you know to see um, you're born in patiala and uh, we were we were discussing that your ancestry is uh, from gujarat ancestors and the forefathers how did delhi happen like when did your family move to delhi and uh, i'm sure ke pehla you didn't straight away jump into the comedy scene so let's just yeah, yeah. map the journey a bit yes of course hmm. so my father actually was a librarian in punjabi university patiala okay very comfortable life and uh, you know patiala used to be a very sleepy town at that time as i was told and i have seen it also through the years when i was very young there there, there was not a single red light in patiala how oh, nice okay so because there was not traffic no traffic at any 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 point of time you know we just Royal City, Sona Royal Shire. City and cycle pe ja rahe hain log and everything. Chandigarh also like that. Ah, cycle. Chandigarh, I'm very very sad to see Chandigarh state right now. That was so am I. It has become something. So coming back to the thing, uh, that he was a librarian. There was a full fledged house in university campus area, and my mom used to tell me that we were very happy. and uh, my father being my father he decided that he'll start his own publishing house okay uh so the 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 service the nokri was not enough for him so suddenly he decided that okay okay we'll move to delhi hmm. and we'll start working on it leaving the government job very cozy government job he just decided that he this was which year i don't really remember i don't know actually mm-hmm. so he will he he just picked everybody and uh, moved to delhi uh, my mother had to 
go through the hardships and uh, you know lack resetting of money and resettling mm-hmm. and living in you know rented quarters and that way but he was determined so we started from scratch and he built this publishing house amar prakashan so uh, it, it sounds very romantic but in the hindsight my mother used to say that if he hadn't done that he would be living right now he would have been alive so so yeah this this uh, this really really changed my perspective about him becoming a great person you know become building something very big uh, so he made this uh, publishing house and uh, he lost his health of course he'll be like constantly on the tour uh, you know promoting selling books building a distributor network and these kind of things and my mother used to take care of us and you know take you care of the sisters. house and i have two sisters so did he pass away early like yeah he was like um, how old were you when you i was 21 mm. just uh, just out of college and uh, i had a whole dreamy world like i'll be a theater person i used to do theater i used to attend festivals and attend music concerts and everything and suddenly uh, i was sitting in a chair you know looking after the business so this love for books and theater and music did it also come from him because he seems to be a yeah, man of letters he was a poet himself he was in love with books which is a wrong idea if you are love with in love with books you should not sell books <laughs> the business know, doesn't come haan, in play haan. so like haan, so you don't you don't see the books objectively hmm. you know he will get it reviewed before publishing and you know how it is and nobody used to do that they used to sell it like potatoes ha ke kitne page ban jayenge aur itne page ki book ko hum kitna price kar sakte hain aur kitne ki bik jayegi aur they used to think like that to so yeah, romantic the, banda nahi kar sakta ha romantic banda nahi if you are in love with books please don't become a publisher mm mm-hmm. don't become a publisher but you were also been in love with books and uh, yeah. lot of other creative activities yeah so so that was really really uh, for hard you. for me to come to terms with that okay now you have to look at it as a business you can't just be like oh i like this book you can't be like that person did you run the business for some yeah, time for 10 years but you also doing a job a government job no no not right it started after that like i told you like i was 20 21 hmm. and for around about 10 years i i tried running that business i had no idea i was a youngster you know starry eyed and that very romantic idea of the world but i came to very very harsh uh, i came to know the harsh truths uh, the bitter truths of our society Which like are? i received uh, my while my father was still ill but he was alive and i i got uh, a letter of condolence uh, a letter from uh, one of our distributors in hyderabad that we have come to know that your father has passed away and we are very sorry you know my father is still alive but somebody some competitor said ke oh ho he has passed away and you know business is no longer running and boy is useless you know to start selling our books instead of theirs so th- this this came to me as a shock because if you are if you have a artistic bent of mind uh, you have a totally different world you live in yes you have a fictional world you you take a, it your favorite book and you you think that this is your world yes which is not true so i was not able to handle the publishing house and uh, it crumbled in 10 years because it was so huge that it took 10 years to 
you know. Reach its demise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just totally ruined. So I had to take up jobs after that. So I did a lot of random jobs. I sold handmade paper, uh, which is again, uh, when I think about it, it's a handmade paper, you know, very artistic thing. I was not selling it because uh, it's, it's, a, it. it's a it's a it's a it's a product. It's a, it's an artistic thing. Mm. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Then then when everything failed, then I did this job as a copy editor in in a multinational corporation, which was providing uh, services to publishing uh, houses in foreign countries, UK, USA, other European countries. Mm-hmm. So I started from zero, and like I did very well in that. But then I was working twenty hours a day, and uh, I I spoiled my eyesight, and um, I actually got diabetes then and there only, which I never knew of. Sitting job, keep uh-huh. writing. Sitting job, like doing this, and very interesting. I am reading articles, you know. One one time, one time I I remember that I edited one of the articles of Amartya Sen. Okay. I was elated because I am reading this thing. Nobody has written, uh, nobody has come to know about it. Nobody knows about it. It's not published, and I am seeing it. And I saw one grammatical error, and this. <laughs> corrected it corrected that's a high it. yeah that's a high, <laughs> that's a high so i was not you know uh, basically a person who could do business or you know like that so i was doing very well in that job but uh, then uh, i said okay, okay i'm going to die if if i keep working like that hmm. so like i saw this ad and in employment news and it was an all india service thing and and uh, i have a very interesting uh, anecdote about it that in my at that time present job uh, where i was senior copy editor in corporate they do this like now you are a senior copy editor yes. yes no no salary salary only hundi hai salary only post change hundi hai to see to see kuch kuch karte the to see kuch lollipop <laughs> uh, but like i i decided that i'll leave the job i created a ppt about uh, branding uh, okay. like how we can brand our company and you know how we can become a brand in b2b sector okay. and i send it to uh, the ceos and ctos and all of them in the company you know and uh, i thought i was waiting like that hmm. ke abhi aayega and somebody will call me and they'll fire me Hmm. I decided that either it, it's going to that and something will happen. The so CTO of the company, Mr. Gurinder Singh, called uh, the MD of the company in India, and he said, "Okay, call this boy and ask him what he's trying to do with this thing." So I just went there. He called me. Okay, guy, it's over. Hmm. Fire. Everybody was thinking that he is going to be fired. So I went there and he talked to me up for half an hour. I had publishing background, so mm-hmm. I knew things. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Now, so कल से you are project manager for this project, and now you start working on that. And uh, one fine day, they gave me this letter that uh, you are going to Philadelphia to do this training, and uh, I was like, okay. I have arrived. So meanwhile, I had given this exam, uh, lying about something. कि मुझे बीमार हूँ, बुखार है. Before one day, I did this government exams, and so I I have this letter in my hand, and I am going home on my scooter, and uh, very happy. And I reached home, and I saw this brown सरकारी लिफाफा on table. Nokri. Nokri. I had two envelopes, and I decided to take government job because, at the back of my mind, I remembered what my mother used to tell me about. Like we were very happy, 
your content and you know that's the indian mindset yeah, actually indian mindset but it was too also i think if you are you chose that happiness yeah so i chose that happiness that i can i just want to stay alive but what if you had chosen philadelphia have you ever ek hota na what if moment yeah what if moment was there but uh, but i never regretted it never regretted in the sense because i i saw my other colleagues going to philadelphia instead of me and uh, burning out burning out like hell and uh, thinking of going to himalayas and uh, you know that sort of thing did gurvinder singh ever get in touch with you again yes i did i i actually called him up and i said kerala that the like where have you gone we thought that you had something going and i was very excited that you will be doing wonders mm. but I, i want to do wonders but not for the company uh, for myself so he also left the company okay he started his own venture and he is very successful okay course. that's nice yeah so in 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 the in the first 21 years of your life you tell me about uh, the love for theater and yeah. festivals you went how did yeah. that वो किदा मतलब आया कि इट वाज जस्ट दिल्ली दी आबो हवा के ऐसा सब दिल्ली ऑफ कोर्स दिल्ली हैगा सी किसी टाइम पे द हब ऑफ थिएट्रिकल एक्टिविटीज एंड इन दिस होल एनएसडी एंड मंडी हाउस यू नो देयर वर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैपनिंग एंड आई वाज लकी इनफ के मैं बहुत बड़े बड़े जेड़े एक्टर्स ने उना नु परफॉर्म करते देखया लाइव while they were not so big actors matlab by by you know going by the fame and everything nobody knew them i have seen the sirudin shah uh, performing uh, uh, kaide hayat mirza galib the life se bane hoya natak us vele mirza galib play kita si te he was must have been 70s ha huh? 70s early 70s nahin, nahin, nahin. I I'm born in 71 what okay. are you talking about <laughs> sorry <laughs> 80s ha <laughs> uh, yeah 80s yes 80s and i main dekhe nasir nasir saab nu matlab apne to 4 foot door perform karde re te i have seen uh, habib tanveer saab wow oh. uh, playing in agra bazaar and uh, charandas chor uh, these kind of places i have seen piyush mishra ashish vidyarthi uh, all these uh, gajraj rao and all these people they were they they had this very leftist uh, theatrical group and they used to do this very fiery and you know very very uh, artistic uh, theater and very very the, the, the theater of dissent Uh, like everything was about uh, you know speaking out against freedom of speech uh, yeah so it was uh, i have seen piyush mishra singing like songs which will haunt you and they are not available anywhere and uh, they used to be uh, plays like holy and you know uh, violent student aggression that kind of thing and there is a very sweet songs in it sung by piyush mishra written by piyush mishra you know so oh, he's genius he's genius. that is he's genius so i have seen very young piyush mishra you know i've seen very young gajraj rao very thin very lanky tall fellow and the same romantic world view yeah, that you had yeah at that time you were so was passionate and hopeful and optimistic and rebellious hooked, also very hooked up to uh, very much hooked up to the whole artistic scene of delhi is it still there this artistic scene no, it has mm. gone now bombay bombay people who are already into films come to delhi to do uh, you know high production value theater have you acted in theater like have yes. you done plays yes that's what motivated you yes so which group were you part of i started uh, uh, my theatrical journey by doing a workshop with yatrik okay uh, this is john michael 
and uh, actually mr under mr abhijit dat abhijit dat is a very good director and he taught me a uh, things or two about light stage lighting and everything and uh, he's still there and uh, very very intelligent person i i i was totally uh, mesmerized by how much knowledge they have you know about things mm-hmm. so i was totally hooked up and um, yes so i was following the scene and uh, i did a workshop and then i worked in a production but then that uh, the thing happened when my father died at that uh, point only so my whole artistic pursuit was gone but it revived many years later 20 years later 20 years later for 20 years you did the government sarkari naukri yeah and you were happy i was very happy but because i was i was able to take care of everything so it, your it mother must have been very happy yeah my mother was very happy and uh, it it really really uh, and and it was the sarkari naukri only which gave me freedom to do things because there is no target in government you just go there and sit there or do work uh, for 8 9 hours and then it's a conveyor belt and there is nobody is asking you okay, why ah. haven't you submitted that or why haven't you Relaxed. completed that and everybody is relaxed so it's a conveyor belt it's just yeah out. it's even if you try to do work like uh, when i was in the junior position i was very fast because i was coming from that corporate mentality has to go today you know i used to khad 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 kede mac match you were working i was working in ministry of shipping okay nobody knew about ministry of shipping and it's a, it's a like very positive thing ke tusi ministry of shipping ch kaam karde ho ports are under ministry of shipping शत्रुघ्न सिन्हा fun guy <laughs> you know at the, in those times files uh, were not electronic ah uh-huh. so oh, green sheet wali files ah ji ji and he used to sign shatrughan sinha and he used to make a smiley after that in a government <laughs> sector <laughs> <laughs> I used to love this guy. It's autographed. Every yeah. page was autographed. Every page was autographed. Like wherever file, wherever file used to come, minister signed it, and he is a Shatrughan Sinha, and there is a smile. So did you meet that. him? Like was the office yes, always big? Yes, yes, yes. I had to Kamosh. meet him. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, he was like that. <laughs> okay. And first of all, I think he was taller than Amitabh Bachchan. Ha he he is a uh, imposing personality uh, he is uh, he is like that and he will he will say his thing like that and you know he'll shut up all, all the members of the committee and ye ke aisa nahi hota hai you know in his bihari style and everything he knew his job hmm? he did he know his job no i think nobody does uh, in <laughs> government sector actually because like his pa who is an is will tell him what to do hmm. so they are there you know but it was fun working for him ha <laughs> it was fun working so they were everybody was good like some like south indian uh, ministers and all that everybody used to come but they were not able to communicate much language Their hindi is very yeah. bad and english is very bad and they'll they'll prefer talking in tamil only ha ah. you know if you have if they had to give some speech in hindi you his pa will write it in tamil script whatever oh so he has to so then this 20 years gave you time to time explore to explore other things time to explore i was so villa i mere ko enna zyada time aega si ke main started doing going to uh, these uh, open mics of uh, poetry and you know 
you were writing poetry also but you were, you studied from himachal pradesh university no, i did my post grad from himachal pradesh university this was you went to shimla or uh, no no it was a correspondence course, course. course. Okay. it was the most like relaxed uh, post graduation okay i think i completed it uh, in 7 years okay and they'll just they just were fed up and they said ki ye le degree ja acha ha because okay. i i never used to go for exams and sath exams and do de diye and so it used to do like that but it did such convenience na ha ki you can just keep doing doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, if you haven't appeared in exams or if you failed all the exams or you know so you just give them the fee and just appear for the next round of exams and you did translations also yeah okay. translations as in uh, english to hindi punjabi everything right? everything came my way that's interesting yeah so the 20 years you explored you went to poetry open mic you wrote poetry can you yes, listen I to some poetry to, i listen to poetry for the open mics like there used to be a group called gaferati which was originally from bombay mm-hmm. mr peter griffin uh, started that in mumbai prithvi theater Okay. and uh, tanish husain who is a well known actor now yes and he was the moderator in delhi okay of caferati so uh, there used to be one caferati event every last friday of the month okay and it was multi talent thing like you can sing you can dance you can do whatever you want you can tell story you can in two minutes Did you recite the two poems? I poem? went there for six uh, events and I couldn't utter a word. Acha. I was just stage because there right. was stage right and like ki aap bejati ho hai ki yahan pe na and because people were very uh, two minutes me there will be somebody who will be making fool of himself you know singing or dancing or doing whatever and uh, if they don't like it or they find it funny they will you know who Which they do now. reality yeah. shows yeah, they yeah. do ta ta that yeah. america's got talent and all yeah, that yeah. they watch you for that much time yeah, yeah. so we were pioneers in that we yes. did that pehle <laughs> did that pehle and abhi recently i recorded a show with samir rana mm-hmm. uh, who is very notoriously known as the guy with no filter okay and uh, uh, he he started this india 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 got latent acha so it's the format that somebody will come and for 90 seconds he will perform or he or she will perform and then the panel will you know ask him questions basically roast him and you are on the panel i was on the panel yes any poet poem you remember that you wanted to say in those 2 minutes uh i i am telling you i was frightened like hell and the first poem i wrote at that time very recent poem मेरा फोन चोरी हो गया है तो आई डोंट नो पीपल समहाउ फाउंड फाउंड इट वेरी फनी क्या था आई डोंट रिमेंबर द होल थिंग इट वाज लाइक आई स्टार्ट आउट के मैं साढ़े तीन सौ नंबरों की मेरी जिंदगी मेरे मेरे ख्वाब मेरे इश्क मेरा काम है ना मेरे दोस्त और बहुत सारी चीज़ें ना और और ये सब खो गया है मेरा फोन चोरी हो गया है द होल द होल वर्ल्ड वाज सेंटर्ड अराउंड योर मोबाइल फोन एवरीथिंग यू एवरीबडी यू नो इज ऑन द फोन यू डोंट रिमेंबर द टेलीफोन नंबर्स एनीमोर यू नो this you did recently this uh, this was done पहले कि दिस फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आफ्टर 20 इयर्स after 6 months of events i finally got the courage and i got up on stage and for the first time after 20 years i recited this poem which was like it became a rage and everybody everybody wanted me to you know recite that poem and wherever i go uh, mera phone chori ho gaya so ye kaun sa saal tha 20 uh, it was 2000 Ten or eleven, I think. Okay, so that's just when. Just before, just before I started comedy. 
ओके आई डिस्कवर्ड कॉमेडी इन कैफे राटी ओनली ओके या दैट दिस इज दैट योर सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर इज या सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर नॉट आई सॉ समबडी डूइंग इन अपूर गुप्ता एक्चुअली डूइंग स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई नेवर हैड एनी आईडिया देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी ओके नेवर सॉ इट बट व्हेन आई सॉ इट आई सेड ओके दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल सिंपल आर्ट फॉर्म you don't do makeup you are not in any character there are no written dialogues there is no script you know spoken word funny spoken word you just stand there and say things out and people laugh and you wait for them to stop laughing and then you start saying something else so that was the first time i discovered stand up But did they, you know, uh, because uh, very few suggest that uh, turban Sikhs were on the stage at that time. I don't think so. There was still any. there aren't many. Still there aren't. So, which which is unfortunate that sardars are always considered to be the funny guy in the room. Yeah. So, did you have to break that stereotype to actually be taken seriously as a serious humorist? Yes. Uh, in the beginning, I used to do. I used to see every comedian has started uh, with self-deprecating jokes. So for so that's self-deprecating jokes mean that I crack a joke on myself hmm. to make you laugh. Mm-hmm. That was going very well, but then I cracked a joke on other religion. and they didn't take it uh, very nicely <laughs> very nicely at all and uh, i was shocked and like a minute ago i was making fun of me as a sardar and you were laughing like crazy and now i just said something very very which was very general observation and uh, you were offended then i stopped doing sardar jokes okay then i think like, i don't have to uh, you know to make you laugh i don't have to uh, become a buffoon or you know become become a product uh, to make you laugh because you you don't want to laugh on uh, religious jokes you want to laugh on sardar jokes hmm So I stopped doing that. So now, what is your uh, brand of humor? If you have to decode yeah. it or deconstruct it for someone, okay, okay, Mahib Singh, like I know, it's very observational, it's very situational. Sometimes it's very extempore, yeah. which is like all as much as you now are getting <laughs> irritated by it. Mummy, kaisi hai has gone viral, ha na on that roast. That was extempore, I believe. Yeah, so, that, that was extempore. That, that was the that was the comeback line on the spot. um uh, because i what i i was doing my jokes and uh, these comedians you know they they don't they don't take jokes very well acha so they were trying to give back up uh, you know back um, uh, give me back the some of the slack i was ashish solanki's uh, uh, roast wala show ha uh. so that was just a, just a reactionary line that that was not written it was not part of the rose mm-hmm. but uh, fortunately or unfortunately that became viral viral yeah so how do you how do you devise your set matlab uh, and how, how much gap do you give matlab between two sets ke acha to write fresh uh, humor write fresh jokes or write fresh content the ideas keep coming mm-hmm. and you just write down the idea Uh, on your phone mm-hmm. and uh, you expand it on stage whenever you get opportunity and this has always been your style to be very calm slow yeah. steady uh, and uh, be i talk uh, like that on have a pause i don't like loud people i okay. don't like uh, people who do loud gestures or speak loudly no matter how well intended they are i just like sulk if i come across any person who is even if he is praising me i will be sulking okay so i don't like loud people so i try to be whatever i am on stage also 
you know i i remember the, the one of the first sets that i watched was diveshu alu varias alu varias yeah. that you went sort of roasted him while introducing yeah, him it. and he wrote his mom's name and dood wala and you had the mic going wow. out i think that really sometimes when you say less and you just leave it yeah i think that's your style so give the opportunity you know to to the audience to reach out and grab the humor you are throwing at them it's not like a, i have to spell it out to you Mm-hmm. you know so that you can understand that's really offensive actually in terms of okay you are thinking that your audience is dumb mm-hmm. which they are <laughs> most of the time but like it's not me it's not for me to educate them na it's, it's, it's this is what i am but yes i have discovered that um, the the kapil sharma brand of uh, comedy which is I see sometimes that Kapil Sharma show is the longest running husband wife joke. Acha in the history because it, everything is about Yeah the husband wife jokes husband and wife. Uh, it's and misogynist again everything yes. and uh-huh. that keeping it aside because like misogynist uh, being misogyny was never part of our vocabulary. Hmm. But we never knew uh, that it's offensive. Hmm. actually stand up comedy gave me the opportunity to grow to learn these words because if you have to make uh, jokes you have to write jokes on any subject you have to know about that do you think aajkal ke uh, stand up uh, comics jo aare they know or they are just looking at the success of I abcd of, course, of like, bussy of uh, kush kapila who's really now she's not a stand up comic but she's an entertainer Kulin Pannu, Niti Parta was always there. Like she's a veteran. Mm. Atul Khatri, mm. uh, Gaurav Gupta, mm. Gaurav Kapoor. Mm. You know, do you think people so are just watching people, them and thinking that yeah. it's so easy? Hey, we'll do it. Gaurav Gupta, Gaurav Kapoor, uh, Zakir, uh, Zakir, very hardworking people. Anupam Singh Bassi, ah, a very hardworking person. and it's not that he considered because i i was watching him from the beginning and i was the first one who wrote on social media about bussy saying that okay this is this guy is going to be huge mm. you know uh, not that it is because of me that he became what he is but he still considers it that okay that was the you know triggering thing for everybody to uh, notice that okay okay mahip singh sir wrote this about me but very hard working very hard working and working on their crafts you know gaurav gupta gaurav kapoor zakir khan anupam singh bassi um, i think the girls gurleen gurleen is very hard working mm-hmm. very hard working Niti Palta. Niti Palta has been so consistent, so consistent. I was there like uh, day before yesterday doing big lineup, mm-hmm. and uh, she was there. And after the show, we went to party like old times, and we were remembering all those days. And uh, I have been watching her; like, she keeps doing it. Mm-hmm. But uh, there are few youngsters, who are twenty five years old. और उनको ये रेडीमेड फॉर्मेट मिला है कि द न्यू अबाउट स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी इवन बिफोर दे स्टार्टेड डूइंग स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी दे नो द ग्रामर ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ जोक ये सेटअप होता है फिर लाइक पर पंच होता है और ये सेगवे होता है और ये कॉल बैक होता वी नेवर न्यू दिस वर्ड्स बट अच्छा है ना आपने सीखा नहीं मैंने हमने सीखा भी नहीं हम वही कर रहे हैं जो हम करते थे पहले भी अभी भी वही कर रहे हैं तो आपके यू नो ये दिस इज अ मिसकंसेप्शन कि आप वन ऑफ द सीनियर्स हैं यू आर अ कंटेम्प्ररी मतलब एज हैज नथिंग टू डू विद इट कि आर यू विक्टिम ऑफ एजिज्म ये चिट्टी दाढ़ी है तो फिर ऐता जी ऐसा डे गुरु है सीनियर है कंसेप्शन के ये तो आजादी से पहले नहीं नो मैटर व्हाट हाउ मच यू क्लियर इज इट विल स्टिल बी देयर लाइक द पर्सन हु विल कम अक्रॉस एज योर फैन विल से के तुसी ता देखो इन्ने साला तो फसा रहे हो लोका नु बट हु वर योर सीनियर्स लेट्स कॉल इट आउट नो अमित टंडन अमित टंडन यस इति बाल्डन माय सीनियर 
अपूर्व गुप्ता इज माई सीनियर अभिजीत गांगुली इज माई सीनियर तन्मय भट्ट इज माई सीनियर वीरदास इज माई सीनियर पापा सीजे इज माई सीनियर सो मेनी पीपल रजनीश कपूर इज माई सीनियर you know all these guys like they were there atul khatri is seen is like older to me also <laughs> yes. he is he does not look it because of his is sindhi jan the sindhi with satire yeah. <laughs> you are the gujarati see uh, yeah. he is the sindhi but like he is uh, he is amazing what at what he does yes he is uh, he is amazing and like a lot of people like papa ji is still there yes still standing ha uh. okay and uh, rajneesh kapoor dry political wit mm-hmm. talk about that we need more of that very precise mm-hmm. very precise mm-hmm. you no know, he can do a master class in joke writing and you know, i really really respect and all this zakir khan is your contemporary zakir let's hear the story about zakir sort of i mai shunya pe sawar hu that's a very interesting kissa yeah that is a kissa the first time i heard this youngster 25 year old guy 20 even not even 25 it was difficult for him to come for that set matlab wo bilkul last pe tha i think hai na nahi nahi wo wo tha hi wo job kar raha tha kahin pe aur wo fever mein fever mein job kar raha tha wo as a producer and uh, his shift TVF ends TVF and yeah. he just came running because it was in cp only mm-hmm. and uh, he just came there running and he was sweating and he was you know puffing and puffing and he just wanted to do that you know go for that small event and do his thing mm-hmm. so luckily he was able to uh, reach on time and do his shunya pe sawar for the first time when it really escalated uh, it really really like he take took everybody for a ride in other some some other aspect of life you know ये बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग बात है कि दुबे यू आर रियली कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग एवरीवन एज इन देयर इज नो इनसिक्योरिटी अबाउट यू आर देयर देयर आर पीपल हु आर रियली रियली नॉट वर्दी ऑफ प्रेजिंग लाइक आई ओनली नो नहीं बट यू आर नॉट इनसिक्योर दैट कम्स वेरी क्लियर आई एम नॉट रियली सो टू थिंग्स व्हेन वाज योर टर्निंग पॉइंट लाइक व्हाट मेड महीप सिंह लाइक वो जो होता है ना एक 100 सब्सक्राइबर थे उसके लाख हो गए वो एक टर्निंग पॉइंट आता है Oh. that trigger and second when did you found the, the delhi comedy club new delhi comedy club new yes. delhi Royal, again sorry new delhi comedy club yeah i i it was i think in 2013 the need for it 13 2013 there was no need there was no uh, no vision uh, uh, actually it was a very small beautiful made out of wood Uh, akshara theater which is still there and uh, just going through a financial crisis and uh, somebody told me that okay these guys really need something so why don't you do stand up comedy here so we were starting out uh, just starting out and we uh, there was no creating new delhi comedy club like i i created one event there will be three comedians and they will be doing stand up comedy and the creative director of akshara uh, mrs anna suriya vaidya she asked ki poster pe kya likhna hai ki kaun ho tum kisne organize kiya hai main kaha apna naam likh do kati dono ka naam batao apna naam batao to sitting right then in there i said new delhi comedy club and then it just took off like and everybody who's anybody is open mic place for everyone uh, no not even open mic like the first uh, ndtv shoot happened there mm. of a comedy show there were solos everybody has done their solo first solo in akshara zakir danit jivesh has done it you know amit tandon has done it Uh, everybody, everybody. So it's like a nursery for uh, uh, comedians and humorists like, like, also. Yeah, but like it became huge uh, mm-hmm. at that time. So it was accidentally we created this monster. Mm-hmm. So it happened like that. So there was no intention of becoming big or no. We just needed a name, and uh, it just came to our mind. So many years of doing comedy. Do you now um, also? 
सेल्फ सेंसर योर कॉमेडी बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट थ्रू सो मेनी चेंजेस इन द कंट्री ऑल्सो कहीं पे डू यू सेंस द क्राउड अच्छा दिस इज द क्राउड दिस इज दम सपोज टू स्पीक दिस इज समाइंड ऑफ सेंसरशिप आई एम सपोज टू हैव बिकॉज अब नया ब्रॉडकास्ट बिल इफ इट कम्स इन टू इफेक्ट इट इज गोइंग टू एडवर्सली इफेक्ट लॉट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स तो मोस्टली देर ऑलरेडी आर सम रिस्ट्रिक्शन बिकॉज यूट्यूब Uh, is a huge, uh, you know, contributor to a comedians or a content creators uh, earnings. Hmm. Yes. So now they have created this algorithm where if you say a cuss word, your content will go at the back. Acha. So you won't be earning that much money. So it 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 is very hard to get a set recorded. It's very hard to get it edited. you know so and you put it out there and if you want to be that edgy character who's like always dark and always like which is which is the which is a thing with the new generation mm they want to become an edgy dark comedian but uh, you won't earn money doing that mm mm-hmm. so if you won't get any corporate shows and even if you are doing uh, ticketed shows uh, there will be certain people who will not like your kind of humor so self censorship is always there because like as much as i like to do a death joke like i i used to start uh, like everybody dies you know you will die your son will die you know i used to talk like that and uh, once in mumbai there was a huge family who came to my show and i my the host started addressing them and they were telling ke ye mera beta hai iski abhi shaadi hui hai ye hamari bahu hai ye man ke how matlab uh, how can you go on stage and you know say ke you will die yourself <laughs> you can't do that dark humor it's a good thing but you will have to curtail your things even so, if the government law comes in effect then bundling the content then to, creators uh, then to like um, uh, even if you want to put it out there the dark thing and they will uh, if it happens i don't think that it will happen like we were talking ke people are getting darker unna nu changa lagda hai ke ha mazak jinna jidda oh hoye na फाइट कॉमिक फॉर्मेट Hmm. and uh, we were the first ones who did that but there was a sophisticated roast uh, no not really not really Very okay <laughs> bad, yeah. but not not uh, not like not uh, out there roast like hmm. the one they do now within the ranks yeah. now to it is now what's huh. the scene like huh. now to like um, you say most idiotic and most unreal things about a person which are not real Hmm. Our roast was well rehearsed. If I said that Jivishu has his mom's name tattooed on his chest, it was there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know <laughs> we have shared hotel rooms and we have, <laughs> you know, traveled together. So I knew, I knew his girlfriend is taller than him at that time. Hmm. You know, I knew whatever I'm saying was to be true. so so that's how it worked it's not like it is hypothetically isko dekho mm-hmm. iski shakal aisi hai iski sh- aise nahi mm-hmm. well researched but now uh, anyone in audience is ready hit me with a ah. so what what requests do you get then no kuch nahi people just dm me and they just send me messages and they said ke it's my anniversary i do a lot of gender politics humor mm mm-hmm. 
I do a lot of comparison jokes. I also do a lot of growing up jokes. Like I think you were bullied in school and this is a Sarkari thing school. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you bring it out a lot from your childhood yeah. also. Uh, everything you, uh, uh, if you are a true uh, stand-up comedian, you will uh, make jokes about things that happened to you mm-hmm. actually, or happened directly in front of you, and you were able to observe that uh, in from very close proximity. so that is uh, that is the most funniest part of this thing otherwise imaginary if you are not married how can you how can you crack jokes on marriage hmm. if a mitandam says uh, things about married life he has seen that produced by mother managed by haan, directed he, by wife haan, that was the first line he, yes. i heard and i said okay this is amazing you partnered well with him and come yeah. to chandigarh also with savita so, bhatti we actually started punjabi stand up comedy in india hmm. for the first time on the tandem in my city i wish jaspal bhatti was around to see it <laughs> i hope she, he was a hero of ours growing up mm-hmm. and uh, now with uh, new you know there was one point where you had reached a crescendo but i think one comment or like by ayushman khurana also really escalated your uh, subscriber base not really like i keep getting dms from i recently got one from sukhir okay the singer oh 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, i got it from mika also i got it from ayushman khurana also uh. you know so many celebrities mm-hmm. you know they just keep dming me so Um, so uh, yeah, I very nicely say thank you to them, and that's it. It doesn't really escalate anything. Okay. Now government job is over. Pension andi hai. Yeah, uh, nee pension. Pension nee andi. Pension nee andi hai the. But comedy is making uh, good haan, money. The comedy is uh, is making decent money. Yes. Have you stopped being nice, and now you charge? <laughs> No, it's not about being nice. Like people ask, uh, "What do we charge?" So I still can't tell them. So I have people who do that for mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. now. So I still can't negotiate. I can. I I'll, I'll say just for example, one lakh rupees. They'll say we have ten thousand. I'll say okay. We'll do it in ten thousand. You know, now in this year, ho gaye, and do you see that? age is catching up or something and that that's a detriment ya fir uh, what if this you had done many years back your health also gets yeah, yeah. affected so yeah, how do you health was like uh, ruined much 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 before i started doing stand up comedy but i have this condition like i have this uh, genetic bone condition called called ankylosing spondylitis which uh, really uh, and your elasticity of the bones and uh, the movement is very difficult so people don't know about that i don't like to talk about that and then they'll start telling me ayurvedic doshas oh that's the best that's if that's our favorite device. part is yeah hmm. and everybody is a doctor and i do a lot of humor on that also that everybody becomes a doctor after crossing a certain age in india yes uh-huh. So everybody is a homeopathy doctor and allopath and uh, Ayurvedic doctor and yoga instructor and meditation instructor, you know, Feng Shui expert, so that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, so yeah. now it's uh, traveling is now traveling is hard, mm-hmm. but uh, I understand that it's going to become harder. But uh, you will continue doing the shows uh, as as much as I can. Mm. And one of your shows, you also mentioned that the education system is quite rotten in India. Yeah, it is, no doubt about being, that. Being being a lover of books, being in the publishing industry, what would you like for it to be changed, or what would you want to be introduced in it? I think uh, for the first few years, it's a necessary evil uh, because you have to teach your kids uh, how to read and write. Mm. Uh, and do the uh, oh basics the primary long education. division and uh, you know that kind of thing mm-hmm. but uh, after that it really becomes a mess mm-hmm. so you really have to think about your child 
think about children uh, everybody is becoming engineer no not everybody is an engineering material it proves that so many engineers are now stand up comedians so stand up is like a whole career now we've had it in films like gesto mukherji and mahmood we used to see it, it as part of stand up stand up comedians it, hmm. but uh, yeah comedy was always part of entertainment industry no matter what uh they were film comedians you know in the beginning there were film comedians only mm. but when they got very famous they also do uh, did uh, stage shows mm. mamud you know used to take the whole group of actors and singers and you know they used to go to these foreign countries and in those days and ultimately you couldn't make enough money with one movie mm-hmm. you know or 10 movies you have to explore other other things so yes stand up comedy was there keshto mukherji was there aga was there johnny lever johnny lever the first one who actually monetized comedy by releasing tapes of his uh, mm-hmm. comedy shows then we had chankata here and chankata uh, punjab in punjab yes. yeah there was a lot of people uh, doing that yes. so yuswal patti ji yes yeah i you also done lot of stage shows you were over the stage fright and you yes, done opening yeah, acts yeah. for a lot of people i have i have done mm-hmm. uh, i have done a lot of uh, uh, stage shows i open for lucky ali and uh, that was actually that that place itself is magical zero zero music festival okay in arunachal pradesh okay so it's like woodstock uh, people are sitting on floors and it's raining and still they are there yeah, and, yeah. and they're listening to the music and it's beautiful so finally mahib ji today everyone thinks that they can be a youtuber or a comedian or a humorist you know it's the technology has given them that kind of confidence what would you tell to a budding stand up comic boy girl um, any gender that this is the basic three four rules jo tonu pata hone chahiye before you step into this world there are no rules uh, just get up on stage and stand up comedy is just a simple simplistic art form that if people are laughing so you are on the right track okay so on that note yeah we will now take your leave thank you very much thank for uh, coming for on our me. show thank you and it's been a pleasure and uh, we hope to hear more conversations from you yes sure and wish you all the best mahit ji thank you i so hope much. to have thank a you. comedy club a new delhi comedy club extension here <laughs> <laughs> I think there are enough clubs now. <laughs> yes, now to there are. Yeah. All right, that's all. Thank See you. See you later. Like and subscribe. Thank you. So, uh this is the coolest uh, new channel uh just talking. Uh started by Raskaran Kapoor and uh, uh she uh, talks to people and she just puts it out there without any agenda. But please please like, subscribe, follow whatever it is you guys do. and um, keep watching thank you very much